What's up, gang? We back with another NFL Cyphers episode. We're up here at this beautiful black coffee shop. Uh, we are at Muse Coffee Shop, and it's amazing artwork in here. And I have an amazing artist. And no, thanks. No, <laughs> How we go. feeling today? I'm feeling good. Yeah. I'm feeling good. Hell I can't yeah. Complain. It's a beautiful day outside yes, here in the shy. So yes, it, and it ain't a hundred. It, it's not a hundred, and it doesn't feel like we're suffocating. Yes, I'll take it. <laughs> take it all day. Um, I do my research on my artists. Okay. Right? Um, gang for you, even when you're mad, bend on me, lose control. Mm -hmm. You got a girl, you got a partner, you got <laughs> you're a little lover nah, boy. I am, I am, I am, I am. I got Love Jones. I ain't okay. got no lady. Okay. I need one though. Okay. I just appreciate. I, I'm like an R&B girly. So when I, but like I fucks with rap, obviously. But when I heard all of those, I was like, ooh, yeah. okay, yeah, add, add, to, add, add, add. <laughs> yeah, I'll be trying to bring it back a little bit. Yeah, I I do like those a lot. Okay. Um, Blue Smoke. Okay. Yeah, talk to, talk to me about that. Um, that's a that's a project that I that's really special to me, and um, I had made a part two, and I was supposed to drop it. I was in looking April. for it. Okay, I was supposed to drop it in April. But when I went to um, drop it, my management told me like I gotta get more into like posting. So when I drop it, it don't feel lost. Okay. So I've been just trying to be more consistent on that. But it's definitely gonna come out this summer. It's a lot of summer songs, summer vibes. But in the meantime, I'm gonna be dropping these singles because I gotta get them off. Okay. Well, yeah, because like I said, when I went to your page, I was looking for that blue smoke too. Cause I'm like, okay, he said April twentieth. I've been performing 20th. it though. I've been performing. Okay, it though. okay. Uh, so if you ever do want to hear it before, yeah. actually, I've been. Um, I'll post them on there. I do a lot of so far, so far sound shows. Okay. Um, so the instrumentation be kind of different. So I like it though. Yeah. Yeah, the performing with the live band. Mm -hmm. I appreciate that. Yeah, I it's do. something I really enjoy. I've been. I think I'm even gonna go into the direction of like reimagining some of my songs I've released already. Okay. Um, with. With the band. With the band. Yeah. yeah. I really like that. Yeah. Like, I used to run a little, like, entertainment company, whatever. Um, but we used to do an open mic every Thursday. Mm -hmm. And one night I brought a band out and had them, like, learn quick little shits. And everybody, like, super loved that. And I loved it. I just feel like it brings, like, a whole connection from the artist to, like, from the stage to the crowd with that live music. Yes. I think it really does And they feel that. it more. When you, yeah. can, when you hear somebody live play music. a bass guitar, yeah. To your music, it just make you feel different. I love it. Make you feel different. <laughs> that was one of my 2024 goals was to learn how to play the bass. It's We're hard. not there yet, but it's okay. <laughs> we all got goals. We gotta get reached. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, what has 2024 brought for you so far, and what can we expect from you um, within the next six months? Um, I've been doing a lot of performing with my band. Not as much dropping music as I what I would have thought, but um, 2024 I learned like. When you working hard at being good at something, you don't really notice how important building relationships are mm. and how much that has nothing to do with you gotta have getting a solid, great at something. Having a solid uh, like team behind you can yeah. definitely bring you to places than by yourself. Mm -hmm. but, ha but building that team has nothing to do with the work at hand. You see what I'm saying? Okay. Um, and I think when you're in a space of trying to be a great musician or a great whatever you're doing, most of the conversation that you're having is going to be around that. Right. And sometimes you just got to sell it into, I like being around these people. They like being this around period, me. period, yeah. And that's why we can do this thing together. You know like what I'm the saying? human connection versus that professional connection. Yes. Because yeah. sometimes the human imperfection is what makes them perfect. Period. Yeah. Yes. Okay. I love that. <laughs> um, all right. And then I do like a little one-off question. Um, my one-off question for you is if you woke up tomorrow as a college professor, what would you be able to um, run your course on confidently? Uh, I could do an intro to R&B course. Okay, tell me a little bit more of that. Um, it would consist of probably like by decades maybe, yeah. maybe five year spans. I would, I would um, could fuck with the decades because that I'll, shit goes back. Yeah, yeah, I'll probably do three prolific artists, or or maybe I'll probably do four: two men, two women. Okay. And then have a B side sleeping on both. Okay. Both. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then just run that and kind of just like go over what music was about and why it made it. Yeah. What it was. 
black music too. Yeah, I'll yeah. learn something too. <laughs> I'll learn something Period. too. Period. All right. Well, let the people know where they can find you at. Um, Everywhere. And no banks. That's A N O. And no. Space B A N K dollar sign. Or just the S. It should still pop up. Um, it does pop up both. I'll let y'all know that right now because I did both. both. It does pop up both. <laughs> so I'll be around. Um, I encourage everybody to go to my page and random. Just random. Smoke something and go for a ride. Hey, I figured it on the way home. Yes. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you.